Hey guys. And finally, the trailer for Gladiator 2 is out. The sequel to Ridley Scott's great success of the 2000s that brought Russell Crowe as Maximus, the protagonist, brought Joaquin Phoenix as Commodus, who was also, let's say, the protagonist, the counterpoint who is our dear clown of crime, our dear Joker, and now, after many years, almost 30 years, with all the technology now, with all the special effects, many practical effects also now brings a great cast, returning Ridley Scott, Pedro Pascal, as let's say, the antagonist of whom? Who is it now? Paul Mescal, who will play the role, more or less, there of Maximus. We also have Denzel Washington. Damn, we have Joseph Quinn, who is Marvel's Human Torch. We have the only one who has apparently returned, which is Connie Nielsen, who is Maximus's love interest. But here's the thing. Let's watch it straight first, and then I'll make my comments, okay? So I'm going to analyze the trailer. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee comment below. You wanted this sequel after all Max died. It wasn't even supposed to have a continuation. You wanted this sequel? Comment below. Will you be watching the trailer? Will you be watching the movie on opening day? Comment below when I take a sip and we start. Let's go. Three, two, one, action. <laughs> I remember that day. I never forgot it. That a slave could take revenge against an emperor. Where were you born? I don't know. I never knew a mother nor a father. You will be my instrument. Who are you? Did you hear that crowd? The greatest temple. Rome ever built. The Colosseum. Because this is what they believe in. Power. <laughs> General Acacius, there are victories yet still to come. Rome has so many subjects, she must feed them. They can eat war! turn slaves into gladiators, the gladiators into free men. You have something in you. I knew it from the start. Did you now? Rage. That rage is your gift. This is about survival! Survive! Hold together and when it charges, break for the wall. Whose head could I give you that would satisfy this fury? The entire Roman armies. Too much. The general will do. Human beings in a Rome must fall. A I need to only give it a push. <laughs> will you make it out alive? All right, all right. Hands on the mausoleum floor. Blood stains the Colosseum doors. This ring belong to Maximus. Now I give it to you. What is the dream of Rome? For people are not free. I was owned. Now I will control an empire. I will not waste another generation of young men for their vanity. Strength and honor! Guys, there's no way not to get excited. I believe that unless Ridley Scott really tries, he won't fail with this movie, right? The only issue is that it cost around $300 million, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me in the comments.
I believe it's $300 million there, including Arcton, right? Because they received, it seems, some discounts to record in a certain place, right? But even so, this needs to make a billion. It needs to make between $850 million and $1 billion. This worries me a lot, right? But aside from that, for fans, let's dive in here and analyze, like, sensational, sensational. The special effects are incredible. The costumes are incredible. The special effects are wonderful. That ocean in the Colosseum, people say that those who study ancient Rome have rumors that there was this in the Colosseum, right? So the movie starts here with Paul Mescal's character. He's there looking at Maximus's armor and sword, right? So there's this flashback here. Obviously, they want the old audience so much, which is me. I was there in the cinema in the 2000s, and they also want the new crowd, both the old and the new, right? And here you can see that this little boy here, Lucius, right, who's royalty, who's Lucilla's daughter, that Connie Nielsen, who was Commodus' wife there, was Joaquin Phoenix's character there, who I even thought would appear in the trailer. He didn't. Russell Crowe appeared, right? He could have appeared anyway. Then it cuts here to Paul Mescal. So he's Lucius, right? But he doesn't know he's Lucius. We know he doesn't know. I believe that Connie Nielsen's character, Lucilla, she didn't want him to assume the position of emperor there anyway in royalty, right? And then she hid him and then she hid him and he became a gladiator. And rumors say, right? I believe he must be Maximus's son which is kind of a cliche, but it makes sense, right? Anyway, and then here's basically more flashbacks, right? He has respect for Maximus, and apparently Maximus is half God, right? He's a legend, right? Here, the character of Denzel Washington, he's kind of the one who goes, I own slaves, like who are the gladiators? And the gladiator winning in the arena, he is free, right? Let's say, right? He gains freedom. So apparently he's going to be this kind of owner of him, more of a mentor who believes in him, believes in his anger. And he also, like, in quotes, he's not a villain, but he's going to orchestrate. He's there to carry out a coup in Rome, right? Because probably we'll see later he was a slave, and now he's like the owner of an army there. He's very powerful. He wants to kind of carry out the coup in Rome, right? He wants to take revenge on his past, right? Damn, Denzel Washington doesn't age, guys. He with that earring there, for God's sake, right? Anyway, then the people talking. Are you listening to the crowd? Here we have Pedro Pascal's character, who's kind of like an emperor there. Not the emperor, sorry, the general. It's General Acasio, General Acasio, who shows up. This is royalty, probably the emperor and others. This is Joseph Quinn. This crazy guy is our human torch. He was also nuts in Stranger Things, wasn't he? He really looks insane, doesn't he? He plays the part well. Here is Pedro Pascal's character, General Acasio. Pedro Pascal delivers, folks. People complain, but he delivers, and he is our fantastic man, right? He's Reed Richards, isn't he? There are two characters from the quartet here. Look how cool they showed up here. Look at the two of them talking here. Reed Richards and the Human Torch talking. Look, we already have a bit of the quartet. Man, you look at this trailer, you see money being used in the production. It's impressive. And of course, there will be a lot of special effects, a lot of scenes there with chroma key with a green background. But like this, there are a lot of practical scenes. Ridley Scott knows how to do that. And he made a movie recently that didn't have much there. It was very handsome, but it didn't have... The critic took a heavy toll there, but it was with Our Deer, which was the Napoleon movie. Ridley Scott was already warming up for Gladiator. Because I'm not talking about the stories themselves, but about making period movies with wars and such, with fights. He was already warming up for Gladiator 2. Anyway, it will show the life there. How was the life of... Paul Mescal, Lucius, it will show him training as a gladiator, practically the story of the first, only with anabolic steroids, let's say, because now there are rhinos, there are sharks. It's practically the story of the first one with a lot of anabolics, so to speak, but for God's sake, with this setting, it's almost impossible for it not to be a success. I believe it's going to be a great success. 
But a billion dollar success is complicated. It's hard to make a billion these days. Here it's really cool. Denzel Washington is saying what could satisfy his rage. He says, I want to kill everybody, every street, the entire Roman army. Then Denzel Washington says, a lot. Then he says, okay, the head of the emperor is enough. In other words, he wants Pedro Pascal's General Acasio's head. Here Denzel Washington says that to make Rome fall, he just needs to give a little push and the rest will be done automatically. There is a crisis in Rome. The emperors are destroying Rome, so to speak. Pedro Pascal is pro-Rome. He doesn't want the empire to fall. He's a villain, but not that big of a villain. He's a villain that you can understand his motivations. He's not a villain just because he is bad. So there will be the emperors of Rome who will be really bad. Pedro Pascal is going to be a villain, but with contours like Thanos. And we will have Paul Mescal who will be Maximus bearing this burden. He will bear the burden of the legend. Here is Maximus's ring, probably a mother giving it to her son. Here is the armor. He's going to wear the armor. Look there. He's getting it. He's going to wear Maximus's armor. Anyway, there is something to talk about. It's basically a type of movie that had a time with many films, then took a break, and now it's coming back. Let's hope because I really like this period film, and Ridley Scott has messed up some things, but I believe this will be the resurrection of the best we have from Ridley Scott. Now, comment below if you are going to watch Gladiator 2 at the premiere, and if Obviously, this movie is going to make a billion. Because if it makes a billion, only then will there be a Gladiator 3. Comment below, I want to know. Remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button so you don't miss anything. See you in the next video. Goodbye.